Hello and welcome to the Student Voice. I'm Emily Steele. We're talking today with students from the Survey of Mass Communication class about film. We live in a time where you can watch movies on giant screens in theaters and home the theaters and even on your phone. Do people care any more about how they watch movies? Where or how do you watch movies? I'm still all about the crappy theater experience. Going there and getting a little too upset with people that are just wrinkling their candy bags too loud. See, I'm the same way. Like, I would rather pay for the movie theater experience than stay at home. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I like it. I feel like it's a little bit of a social experiment, just mm -hmm. kind of seeing how long you can keep your composure with mm -hmm. those a-holes with the phone. Yeah, but, I know. Like, I've almost, like, lost it a few times. Yeah, I, but I, I, I prefer that for mm -hmm. some reason, and I'm not 100% sure why. I feel you there. I also like the theater experience, but lately when I go, it's not very full. There's not enough people enjoying that. You don't like that. to be alone in the theater? Well, I do. I enjoy that. But I feel like more people should go ex experience that. What about, what about like premiere nights? Yeah, I'll go. Like if it's a decent movie or if it's something that's going to be like a, like a big summer blockbuster, there'll be times where like once or twice a year, me and a few friends will just go camp out and we'll like yeah. wait for a premiere. Uh, that's probably the only time I've, I go to movies is like for big events like that. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like that's really dependent on the people that you know are going to be there. Yeah. Like if it's, I don't know, like if it's like some fan base that you don't like, it's yeah. going to be showing up. Like I say, you're just really, you like the Harry Potter movies, but the fans kind of like creepy out. Yeah. I feel like I would wait until like a good like three weeks and hopefully the ticket price has gone down for that. It's funny because like on premiere nights, people are so much more quiet than they are if they're oh, just yeah. like two or three other people like mm -hmm. in the theater with you. Because they want like everyone they want is there to, to see the yeah. movie, right. you know, so. <laughs> that annoying if there's a lot of people there to see a really or, good movie. Or when you have people that are like equally as passionate about it. Like I remember going to see the new Star Wars and just mm -hmm. everybody like just shouting so, like at yeah. all the same scenes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that, that that's pretty great. That, if it has to do with the film, but if you yeah. hear someone just like laughing. Like I I think when The Witch came out, I went and saw it. It was, it was terrible in my opinion. Or but like, I still <laughs> wanted to watch it because I was paying to be there. Yeah. And the people in the theater were so terrible. Like they had to call in like the... You, you bring up laughing, and I went with a friend, and it was kind of a petty watch. He wanted to see the new Medea movie, so I went with him. And I can remember people laughing at jokes that just blatantly weren't funny, and like that just that really just got me yeah. upset. So like there there is, I don't know. I feel like a, an appropriate reaction that's kind of expected. Right. But yeah. was that a good movie? Because I've been considering going to see that. No. So it's not worth it. Okay. No. Not at all. Well, that's it for this edition of The Student Voice. Thanks for watching.